I know the centralized finance and also blockchain technologies are really innovative and disruptive concepts and therefore very exciting. We're not selling! We're not selling! Wait, let me explain something to you right now. Okay, here's a $10 bill. This is garbage. This is garbage. You people in South Africa, you have your rent. It's all going to zero against Bitcoin. Do you know that it's a, a criminal offense to tell offense to tear up? Do you know that with the Bitcoin I have, I can buy any freaking senator or, con or congressman I want? I make the laws. He who has the Bitcoin makes the law. Fixes everything. Your jewelry will be twice as good, half as expensive. Real estate, your house will be twice as big, half as expensive. Debt, you will be able to buy an annuity that yields 8% interest with no risk. And... And if you wish me to make a political statement, the political statement would be, it fixes governments because as it fixes everything else, governments act rationally. To refer to Bitcoin as something of a new life form. The reason I bring this up is because the way it acts seems like it's alive. What are your thoughts on this? A crypto is a living creature. We've, we've released life in cyberspace. Once you've released the DNA of the, of the Bitcoin, you just have to let it fester everywhere in the world and let it be it. Bitcoin is conservation of energy. You can store your life force. I put my, my monetary energy, my life force into it, and then I let it, I let it live for the next thousand years. And it's okay just to be alive for a thousand years. It's okay to be, you know, what's wrong with being rich forever? Right? I mean... <laughs> but I feel what we just saw was really dramatic theatrics and almost a religious-like approach towards a topic from some of the biggest names in the crypto world, these crypto influencers. And their approach is largely unnecessary, but also detrimental towards the long-term development of the crypto market. And the reason why is because it contributes towards the reckless frenzy that has dominated much of the crypto market over the past year as well as blind irrationalities for people. I feel now it's really a very crucial time, a time when we have this rapidly emerging technology that is still largely unproven. It's a moment like this where really there is a great importance for criticality, so really fostering a sense of dialecticism. And these people who have such great influence in this field, they should really lead the discussion and also the perception of it there through this very constructive and critical way especially when we're dealing with this very new scene that really requires us to be very critical in our assessment of it. But what we got instead is really this over-optimistic zealousness that is also very theatrical, which by the way is not limited to just the conference, but also really many crypto influencers in the same capacity.